the pumping of a bicycle pump, and the in and out of oxygen in our lungs. This all might seem random things, but do you know what they all have in common? That's right, they have volume and pressure. Did you know back in 1662, an Anglo-Irish chemist and physicist named Robert Boyle had formulated an empirical relation of gas that won him a Nobel Prize? It's true, and today, he's largely regarded as the first modern chemist. His scientific discovery was then named after him. This law is called Boyce's Law. It all started when he had caught the eye of Torricella's work with a vacuum. Boyle studied the elasticity of gases in a J-tube like this one. By pouring the mercury to the open end of the tube, a small volume of air had become trapped in the sealed end. He's a genius, right? Let's hope all. After conducting the experiment, he then concluded that the relationship between volume and pressure are inversely proportional, but of course, at a constant temperature. According to chemistry definitions, volume is the amount of 3D space a substance or object occupies, while pressure is the force per unit area of surface. Remember, when the volume of a gas increases, its pressure decreases, and vice versa. Let's have an experiment with a syringe and a balloon inside. What will be happen to the balloon if we press the plunger down? And what about if we pull it up? Now, it's time for us to find out. The balloon and syringe are filled with tons of gaseous air molecules. Placing your finger over the opening at the bottom of the syringe keeps the mass of air molecules constant and creates a closed system that will allow us manipulate the pressure and volume. When you press the plunger down, we are increasing the pressure being placed on the air molecules inside the syringe by reducing its volume. As the pressure increases, the amount of force placed on our air molecules increases and they are forced closer and closer together, decreasing the volume of space that our gas takes up and shrinking the size of our balloon. When we remove our finger from the bottom of our syringe, we release the added pressure and our balloon grows back to its original volume. In the second portion of our experiment, we start with the plunger at the bottom of our syringe almost touching the balloon. When the plunger is pulled upwards, we are reducing the pressure inside the syringe by increasing the volume of space the air inside takes up. This decreases the pressure and increase in volume, pulls the air molecules farther apart, increasing the amount of space the gas takes up, growing and expanding the size of our balloon. Removing your finger from the bottom of your syringe returns the pressure back to normal, reducing the volume and size of our balloon. When we compare the two variations of our experiment side by side, we can clearly see the inversely proportional relationship between the volume and pressure of an ideal gas. Again, this relationship is known as... Correct! It's Boyce Law! Now that you have learned about Boyce Law, I hope that you'll be able to apply these concepts in your life. Thanks for listening and stay curious.